Okay, so as best I can tell, this is how this works. God's children will hear his voice at some point in, human, in their human experience, in our human experience, and then be born again. There's a famine in the land, not just in the United States. It's a, it's a global famine, like Amos 8 talked about. Not for food, not for physical food, but for the hearing the words of the Lord. With today's technology, being able to share God's word around the planet, around the clock, in over 900 languages with Bible.com, in Facebook comments and face-to-face, -face, what a tremendous opportunity. With the mobile technology that we can take with us pretty much wherever we go, I understand there's people groups that have a challenge with some of this, but there's also the Go Bible, which is actually God's Word on a chip in a, that can be solar charged for people in the bush that don't have electricity in that and can't read. What a tremendous opportunity for such a time as this. Now in this area, we're going to get about 16 million visitors on what's called the Grand Strand of Myrtle Beach. So I'll be blowing bubbles, wearing a Bible.com shirt uh, for a very important reason, because that gives me the opportunity to draw people's attention to a very important resource, and that is God's Word. God's Word in over 900 languages around the planet, around the clock. By simply adding Bible.com to our comments face-to-face -face and Facebook worldwide, we can share God's Word in over 900 languages around the planet, around the clock. With mobile technology, we can listen to God's Word basically wherever we are. Okay, This is all very important. There's a combination of a heart that loves the truth and hearing the truth of God's Word where the experience, the eternally most important experience of being born again happens. Jesus says that unless a person is born again, they won't even see the kingdom of heaven. They will not go to heaven unless they're born again. Very important to love the truth, hear and obey God's word. Bible.com, face-to-face, Facebook worldwide, 24-7. I add Bible.com to comments. Typically, I'll say, joy and peace in Jesus, Bible.com. The word in is a very important word there. Uh, it means actually in Jesus, and that Jesus is in the individual. The Christian life truly is humanly impossible. He's more than a teacher. He's the creator of the universe that took up flesh, dwelt among us, and then he will take up residence in his children at some point in their human experience. Uh, this is really a big deal, and uh, you can know why I'm so excited about it. I thought I was born again until I actually was. <laughs> Joy and peace in Jesus, Bible.com.